Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Living Alone Diaries. Well, I never actually made like a series of my Living Alone Diaries, but I've been making like a couple of daily vlogs, which shows my living alone situations. And I figured that I'm just gonna make a, a regular day in the life in this video, but it's specifically about living alone, which leads to the first part of this video. I've run out of a lot of things, like house supplies, foods, ingredients for me to cook, cleaning supplies, like regular stuff, tissues, shampoo and everything like that. So I'm just gonna do like a huge groceries right now. It's like the typical monthly groceries type of thing I'm gonna take you guys with me. Well, I prepared like a huge list of things to get for my groceries And I'm actually gonna go to like three or four stores for this because okay Let's make this kind of like a guide to living alone I know it's more of an effort to like go to different places just to get groceries But you can save up more money that way Especially if like those places are not too far away from each other if they're like five kilometers away maybe that's not worth it or it could be worth it if the transportation is free but they're all in walking distances from me so that's why I'm going to all those stores okay I'm ready to go and I'm bringing this little granny card with me at one point I decided to just pamper myself and invest in one of these little granny cards because I used to think like I don't need it I'm young I'm strong I can just bring my groceries with my hands but it's much heavier than I expected like walking from the supermarket back to my room it literally hurt my back so I decided Okay, you know what? I am getting one of these and it has made my life so much easier Turns out I can't do just one trip because my granny card is full so I need to get back to my room and put out all the stuff that I bought earlier so that I can shop for some more and you know what I'm just gonna do another grocery haul for you guys to see like what is my essentials in the living alone First of all, I bought a butter because I use butter a lot to cook and I bought a broccoli. I've completely run out of any sort of vegetables so I need to get more. I bought some asparagus which I will cook tonight for my dinner. I bought some cutting packs, shredded mozzarella. This is a huge bag by the way, like I can use this for maybe two months. And then I bought toilet tissue rolls. Another tissue, but this one's for the kitchen, which I always put over here. An onion. If you notice, I always get just like one pieces of onions, broccolis, and stuff because I live alone. And they're gonna go bad before I use all of them if I get more than just one. And then I got chicken thigh fillets, a jar of carbonara sauce because I have some gnocchi. And I feel like it's gonna be really good to eat it with this carbonara and some mozzarella. And also a Nutella spread. Well, it's not exactly Nutella, but it's literally chocolate hazelnut, so it's basically the same. All right, that is all from the first stop. Let's go for round two. something healthy so here I am this is actually my first time trying this and it has this seaweed I actually chose the one with salmon sashimi and sushi rice with mixed vegetables Sit 
down for a while before I do grocery haul part two. I actually went to like four stores earlier. So I went to another supermarket. I went to another store to pick up my books, which I've ordered like kind of a long time ago. I went to two Asian supermarkets because the first one didn't have the things that I'm looking for. Haul time. Okay, so I just bought a kimchi and some enoki mushroom at the Asian supermarket. These are the books that I picked up. Shampoo, strawberry. This is a salmon, but they wrapped it so you can't see it. Blueberries, a huge box of cereal, which literally lasted me like three months because I don't really eat cereals that often, but this is the best cereal ever. They don't really sell it in smaller boxes. Salt, oat milk, some apples, bananas, a box of facial tissue, toothpaste, and a single carrot. And that is all. You guys should actually take a look at my my table right now okay before I put all these where it's supposed to be I'm gonna go downstairs and put my laundry in the washer and then I'm gonna come back here and organize all of this next part of this video is not exactly very aesthetic but it needs to be done if you live alone but I am gonna take out the trash like this is the one thing that I always avoided when I live at home with my family but now I live alone and I need to do it One of the realities that I have to pay for living alone. Like I know it's nothing big, it's just throwing out the trash, but I really, really avoid it. I know that Melbourne has one of the best quality of tap water in the world, but bottled or filtered water still tastes better. And I've heard that some people say it's also better for your skin. And since my skin has been breaking out ever since I moved here, I thought it was worth a shot. So I have these two small gallons and also one jug which i'm gonna fill downstairs because lucky for me i have access to filtered water from the building which is completely free so i take these with me daily downstairs to fill them up because yes this is how much i drink in a day and this is also where that granny card comes in handy because like bringing all three of this once it's filled up with water is gonna be too heavy <laughs> to go downstairs and move my laundry to the dryer and I figured that I don't want to like do any more productive stuff or like work related thing that requires thinking because I'm tired so I'm bringing my book here and I'm just gonna read downstairs while waiting for the laundry Hi, I just need some help to activate the dryer with my laundry credit Dryer number 4 Okay, thank you I've been kind of obsessed with making oatmeal for breakfast. I have this rolled oats. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make my oatmeal. I'm just gonna pour like half cups of it. 
I kind of always make my oatmeal the same way which literally I didn't need to like google any sort of recipe I just kind of do what I like to do with it so I have half a cup of oatmeal in my bowl and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave but instead of using some water I actually use milk and right now I'm using soy milk and I'm gonna pour one cup of milk and I'm gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes while waiting for the oats in the microwave, I'm gonna slice a banana. It's done. Careful, it's hot. Okay, it's supposed to look like this. I'm just gonna stir this for a while. And we're gonna put this back in the microwave for another minute. put too much milk in this I don't know why but I think it's fine I'm just gonna keep stirring it I always use the same measurement but I don't know why it's so runny but I think it's gonna be better once it kind of sets in since my oatmeal is still like really hot like boiling hot I'm just gonna let it sit for a while and then I'm gonna stir it again but in the meantime I'm gonna make my bed because I haven't done that This looks like a much better consistency. Okay, here's what I like to do with my oatmeal. I like to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract, but it really depends on the type of extract that you use because sometimes one tablespoon would be like too strong. Mix it together. Now I'm gonna put in all of these sliced bananas here. Now if you see that this side is still a bit empty, it's because I am saving up some spot for this blueberry. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit. Now if you think like, this is such a healthy breakfast because I'm eating banana and blueberry oatmeal and this is like the breakfast that I'm currently obsessed with. Well, my recipe is not exactly the healthiest because I'm gonna add a little bit of dark chocolate chips in it. It adds more flavor and it's not so bland. And lastly, I'm gonna drizzle with maple syrup. Oh my god, look at this. It looks pretty. I mean, it looks messy, but I like how it looks. Oh, and by the way, because the oatmeal is like still hot, the chocolate would eventually melt. This is probably the most delicious oatmeal recipe that I could possibly think of. I have been neglecting my laundry since it was done yesterday so I'm gonna fold all of them right now and put it in my closet and the drawer wherever it should be gotten used to doing everything by myself like I still crave the presence of other people a lot like I still hang out with my friends a lot but at the same time I enjoy doing stuff by myself more than I used to like just running errands by myself and right now I'm going out by myself too I just want to go to the garden and read a book like literally just that especially because the weather is really good today 